All right, and it says we are live. And there's already one person watching. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. So we're live from the uh, 6th Street Market in Tempe, Arizona. What's up, guys? And we're going to start off over here. This is the Ar Harkins Art Theater. I just thought this was kind of interesting. Hey, hello. What is that? Kevin, the Roblox noob. Hello. Hello, Tony. So yeah, this is a pretty cool theater. This is this is right by where the market starts. This is the um, Harkins Art Theater. We got the store dude in here. We got Dogman Kid YT. How's it going? Hello, Corey Fry. So yeah, let's let's head into the market. So this is like an open air. Uh, here we'll take a look at the sign real quick. That'll explain it. Yeah, this is the last one for the year. So this goes on uh, October 14th through April 14th every Sunday. You can see some of the info there. We kind of did a quick walk around real quick just to see what was what was interesting. Hopefully you guys can hear us over all the, the traffic and everything. So it's all local vendors. Got local raw honey. We're gonna have to get a pie. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a hand pie later. That looks good. <laughs> After a little walk, walk around the place, I'm like, yeah, pie's out. That's a pretty cool archway. Oh, there's an Elvis impersonator. Elvis sighting on stream. Elvis sighting on stream. There was somebody performing live here a minute ago. There's some live music and stuff that goes on. End of season sale. I don't know what happened to him. Apparently it's rainy and wet and nasty in Seattle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful today. It is beautiful today. Happy buns. Saying it's raining in Seattle, saying it's like yeah, sunny <laughs> in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always it's always raining in Seattle. Someone so the store dude says you should check out the check out Sun Village Town Center on Warner Warner and Alma School in Chandler, Arizona. It's just rotting away. Okay, well we'll have to look into that. These are really cool. These lights. Illuminated vintage. Pet wants. Looks like gourmet pet treats. There's also a lot of food trucks and stuff here. Coffee. Oh yeah, is that is that it right there? Kind of off on its own. Kind of wish we hadn't eaten before we got here. Got fresh salsa. Gotta have your fresh salsa in Arizona. You don't know the Should we saying, go? You can always have a crepe even if you already ate. <laughs> Which way should we go? Should we go down that way? Let's go down this way. See, so if you're just joining us, we're at the 6th Street Market in Tempe, Arizona. It's over on like Mill and 6th Street by ASU. And this is the uh, last, they do these every Sunday, like October through April, and this is the last one for the season. I saw there was a, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I saw there was gonna be an artist who was gonna start painting in a few minutes. Yeah. See if we can catch him. Lots of dogs here too. I wish I could bring my dog something like that right now. 
Your dog's too much of a freak. <laughs> <laughs> he would be all over the place. Yeah, I can figure right when we when we start streaming, the uh, live music stops. Must be taking a break. Tony Cisa. Oh, I lost that there. I need to find a reason to go to Arizona. I always just drive through, but I do stop at Waffle House in Tucson. Well, Waffle House is great, but there's lots of great stuff to see. Somebody else is filming for YouTube there. See, I think they're open till three today. So if you're nearby and want to see all this, this say someone's asking. Uh, Drew Pomko says this is an arts and crafts market or what? Yeah, basically, it's like arts and crafts, and there's food vendors and. She's got really nice Yeah, that stuff is pretty cool. Yeah, there's food here, there's arts and crafts, live music. Plus it's a really it's just a really nice area. I wanted to show them this over here, hold on. I thought this thing was pretty cool. I haven't seen this before. It's like someone said Game of Thrones. It's like the uh Tempe throne, I guess. I don't know. Yep. It's not quite as busy as I thought it would be, but that's probably because it's it's warming up now. Here's some like folk art type stuff. I wonder if that painting is a. What's the Yoda? Hold on. Ask chat what their what their thought is if that's a JoJo reference or not. It's a JoJo reference. I haven't watched that yet. You need to watch JoJo. Roy Quitter says someone should do a video of the mall in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Half of the mall is sort of okay. The other half is almost completely dead. Oklahoma would be an interesting place to go. I've never been there before. <laughs> Yoda. Pet portraits. That's what you should do with your dog. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. They're like canvas, like wall scrolls. Photography. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, she's painting right now. That's cool. I wish the live music was still going. Somebody's asking where is this located. This is the, uh, it's on 6th Street and Mill Avenue. Oh, these are pretty neat. Crocheted stuff. I'm not sure. Okay. Did we miss anything? I, mean, I think that was pretty much the whole market. But, oh, wow. I, what is that building? It's like an upside down pyramid.
I wonder if there's a sign or something. I want to see what this is. There's all kinds of neat buildings, like in, you know, architecturally interesting over here. Let's see if there's a sign. Oh wow, this is actually really pretty down here. <laughs> and it's shaded, which is nice. I guess we could explore the, the Mill Avenue area a little bit. Let's see your public entrance. Oh, does it? Yeah. Looks like an upside down pyramid stuck in the ground. Someone looked at the building plans upside down. Yeah. That is really nice over here. We could explore around here a little bit. It's probably part of the of ASU, of the campus. It's probably one of the campus buildings. I want to see if we can see inside this. Probably not. Oh, it's just like a cupboard. This is really cool over here. You can see the, the markets going on down there off in the distance. Hey, what? Cactus, and it's like a log planter box. Oh, holy crap, that's cool. They like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they, let's go down there and look at it real quick. They like hollowed out a log. Go down this way. Yeah, I think we can. Oh, there's a sign right here, or is that just a bench? Maybe it's a sign, maybe we can actually tell what this is. This Tempe Municipal Building. That's cool. Fancy. Yeah, this is what we were talking about right here. They like hollowed out this tipped over log and turned it into planters. That's really cool. That's really cool. We go down here. I think we can go around and back up again. <laughs> hey, look! <laughs> there's a pizza box. Should we take bets on whether or not there's any pizza left in there? I'm going no. You're going no. I bet there's a slice left. Nah. Let's see. Oh, I think you're right. It feels pretty light. Free advertising for... Nope, it's empty. It's only Little Caesars that you leave a piece. Oh, that's cool. A lot of brass. Mayors of Tempe. I actually like this. Even if you're not inside, you can see what's going on. Oh, that's where they do the, that looks like the where they do the city council meetings. Yeah. That's cool. Let's go around this way. I didn't realize they were like that, that prominent. Dude, I like these like brass things. Those are cool. Huh? Look like they're acrylic. <laughs> if there was a slice of pizza, would I have taken a bite? No. No, thank you. Yeah, I think we can get back up this way. Back up to the... But I bet we can get a cool... I don't know how much you can see it through the trees. But yeah, there's the, the upside down pyramid. Well, look at that. You learn something new every day. I didn't realize that the... Uh, Tempe Municipal Building was an upside down pyramid. Let's go back up. Oh, this is a cool stairway. <laughs> That's 
say, if there was a slice of pizza to quote my favorite movie of mine, do you like penicillin on your pizza? <laughs> Is that from Ninja, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? I forget which movie that's from. Yep, it is from, okay, I thought so. I haven't watched that in a long time. All right, let's go back to the, huh? Yeah, it is, it's a weird design. Was that a, was there a pot plant in the garden? Where? Back down the stairs, do you see anything? I didn't see anything. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, it's Tempe, so. Something just threw some seeds. Would not surprise me. Let's walk around this way and then we'll go back to the market. Let's see if there's anything interesting on this side. Well, that's really weird being under it. <laughs> huh. Makes sense it's upside down since it was a government building project. <laughs> that's funny. Matt just won the internet. Right yeah. There. I wonder if this is a fountain normally. Garden Angel. That's nice. They dedicated something to the the gardener. This turned more into just an exploring downtown Tempe video. Oh, that's neat. Look, the the walkways, and then they, they go to those. Don't is that an elevator? Oh no, it's a stairwell. What? Oh, pff. yeah. Where, where does that door go? <laughs> she just gets stranger and stranger. <laughs> Doorway to nowhere. Oh, emergency exits. That's why they have those. See some people are saying they they miss these kinds of live streams. I, I'm gonna hopefully do more of them. Let's go this way. And there's a water feature down there. There's an old church. I think I think that's a mosque over there. Yeah, let's go down here. What's in there? Oh, just like plumbing and duct work and stuff. That's interesting, they had to cover it, probably copper thieves and stuff. Oh yeah, you can really see the, the upside down pyramid there. Mountain. This place just photo jack. Yeah, it is. It's really pretty. Let's go back. Oh, we gotta wait for you to. It. 
get a lot of jokes about the upside down pyramid. Yeah, because we're not the only ones that think it's photogenic. <laughs> It's this building. This has got to be part of the oh brickyard on mill. I don't get down here a lot. Mill really is really nice. Yeah, I don't come. I don't come down here at all anymore. Really, I don't. I don't have as much of a reason to anymore. And hey, why don't we go back through the market? Maybe we'll go down mill a little bit. It's a Men in Black spaceship hiding in plain sight. Maybe. Here's a further away shot. Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave this uh, this live stream public too after it's done, just in case people are joining late or anything. Oh, thank you, Austin D, with the super chat there. Appreciate it. You still, you done? Yeah. All right, let's cut through here and we'll go back to Mill. Take a look at the throne again. That was really cool. I don't know that I've noticed that building before, been that close to it. That's the other thing. I'm down here, it's usually at night. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing too. You're right, when I'm down here, it's usually at night. It's pretty cool though. Shame this is the last one for the season. Uh, it just gets bigger every year. It really is, though, going to be too hot to do stuff like this in just a couple of weeks. Here's laser engraved stuff. It's a neat stuff to look at, though. Yeah, let's go back down to Mill. You got ice cream? Got a coffee float, mocha float? Old flour mill. Oh, yeah, the old flour mill. What's this? That goes way up there. Mosaic of old newspaper prints and stuff. Yeah, those are really cool. I like that. I'm getting kind of warm. Uh, no pinball 541. I have not been to Starfighters lately. I haven't had time. You know what we missed on Friday? I, did, I didn't see the email until like Saturday morning, but uh, that Captain Cutanium's Arcade 85 was open Aww. on Friday night. Yeah, and I missed it. I was super bummed. Super bummed about that. Let's check out and see what's going on. We're back at the art theater. That's a cool truck. Run out the island. Island right now. Mr. Mesquite Taqueria. Oh, 
Austin D is asking what's going on in Tempe. The Sixth Street Market, it's the last one for the season. It's a little like, I don't want to call it a farmer's market. It's more like an arts and crafts fair and stuff. And Now we're over on Mill. Yeah, a bunch of good food trucks. Look at that big rainbow chair over there. That's an interesting artwork to look at. What do you think? Which way should we go? I told. I told. Okay, we should go towards the corner space. Towards where? Corner space. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. I think that's about my new number one rule. We're down where to go. Go towards it. Where was the um? The graffiti shop. I guess I should have titled the stream better since we're actually leaving that that market. <laughs> and now we're gonna just kind of evolve. Yeah, now we're just gonna check out Mill. Is that down where it was? How amazing it was. Was it down there? The graffiti shop? Should we cross the street? Well, should we cross? All right, yeah, let's go back that way. That looks more interesting. I think it is. I can make it across in 16 seconds. I remember lotions and potions? I used to see those in malls and I don't see them anymore. All right. Me? No, I'm not. The bit. Oh, they have one of these. Uh, yeah, no, we I, when I was in California, oh, smell it now. I'm trying to remember where I was. It was near a beach, and I can't remember which beach, but they had one of these. They yeah, they make fresh baked cookies and then fresh ice cream, and they make ice cream sandwiches, and they're freaking amazing. Really? What's in here? That's cool. Are those live, those plants? Yeah, those look like live plants. Are there fish or anything in there? Probably not. It doesn't look like it's open anymore. Maybe they just closed on Sunday. Is Tempe an average area or better than average area? I I don't know. It's it's like a it's a college town. So there's a barbershop pole there. There's a lot of fountains and stuff back here. Travel Center. This is cool. I don't know if I've been. Oh, yeah, look. Are they open? I have not been here in ages. I don't know if they're going to appreciate us walking in with a camera. Oh, they're closed. Take a peek. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're still open. But yeah, you go down in there. And then I don't know what kind of story you call this. They have like t shirts and stuff. And. Pins and all punk, punk stuff. I don't think we'll be able to see this. Yeah, now it's black. That's really neat. But hey, at least we know it's still here. It looks like they're just closed on Sundays. But yeah, I, I was worried. Come on, focus. There we go. 
I was worried this wasn't here anymore. I'll have to come back and check out and see what's going on there when they're open. A couple of hair salon places. Okay. Yeah, we'll go check it out in a second. I just wanted to, there's another fountain. How far does that go down? It doesn't look like anything's open down in here. What do you think there's another entrance for? This is a pretty neat little courtyard, though. You wouldn't even know this is here off the street. Out this way to the left. To me, it was always my favorite entrance to graffiti. To graffiti. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I kind of remember that one now. So then yeah, this way. I don't know what they're doing over here. Looks like they're remodeling that building. Oh, let's get out of the road. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's like an entrance anymore though, but you kind of see. Oh, they've got like a neon sign here and stuff. I wonder if we can see through the glass. Not really. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just kind of think it's cool. There's like no hours or signs. Or yeah. Like the lights on, come on in. Dude, look at this mannequin. <laughs> it's like Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Wish I could take you guys in there. I wonder when they're. I have to look up on the internet and see what their business hours are. Oh, I wonder where that elevator goes. I forgot to turn notifications off again. Where are we at now? Okay, we're back in front of the Gordon Beers. These scooters are fun, but I've never seen a sit-down rental one before. But uh, I rented one of these not too long ago. They go pretty quick. They go like 20 miles an hour. Nice. They're fun. What's all down that way? Is that all just condos and stuff? All right, let's go back this way. That is a cool PBR neon sign. I kind of want that. That's like one of my favorite cheap beers. Yeah, well, we got we got to go back that way because that's where we're parked. Yeah. Let's see if there's. Let's see. We went that way. It's over there. Oh, there's the old mill. Rulabula down that way. Oh, I haven't been to Rulabula in ages. They actually serve the Guinness like warm there, like you're supposed to. But yeah, there's the old flour mill. And I'm surprised it's still standing. That's the name Mill Avenue. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go this way, and then we'll we'll shoot over. I want to check out that that rainbow chair. I just haven't been over here in a while, so I kind of want to 
Look at everything. Eric and Mark choose your own adventure live stream. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we, speaking of choose your own adventures, we I don't know if you guys have seen there's that, um, I don't know if you've seen it either, it's on Netflix, it's that you versus wild thing. It's like, it's hosted by Bear Grylls and it's like, or however you say his name, and it's like an interactive. Whoa, I didn't know that was interactive. Show. Yeah, yeah, you like tell him what to do. Like every, every couple of minutes, there's like a choice that you have to make, like, yeah, I wanted to see this piece of artwork. Did you, did you watch any of the Black Mirror stuff? No. It was a oh, Bandersnatch. Is that Bandersnatch? Bandersnatch? Yeah, we did. I did go through it once. I didn't do well. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but this one's kind of interesting. Like you said, you know, do, do I walk across the you know log that goes across the ravine or try and Tarzan it with these vines, like things like that? Unfortunately, I was never presented with an option to get him to drink his own piss, which was surprising because I know he does that. Ice cream places. Dude, it smells so fantastic. It's that waffle cone smell. You remember the um the Rick and Morty themed one in Pasadena? Oh yeah. I've never seen a real estate broker with a neon sign before. That's interesting. Divas Boutique. I don't think anything in there is going to fit me. <laughs> Never know. Never know until you ask. There's a little bookstore right here. That's neat looking. I hear some history in the building. This building was built in 1898 and is the oldest surviving three-story brick commercial building in Maricopa County. Wow. That's cool. There's a little history with your live exploring there. Just leave that there. Hopefully that's clear enough on the stream for people to be able to read it. it looks clear on my screen. Salon. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything in there that fits me either. Yeah, I guess. I wonder how you get up there. <laughs> what is this? Wagyu beef. So, mm, yum. Yeah, you see a little bit of everything on Mill Avenue. Yeah, we'll cross we'll cross back over here. Cause I don't think there's oh, there's Whiskey Row. Boo. It's the country musician that got a the old country. Musician Hippie Gypsy. Got a bunch of like trouble recently. Glenn Campbell. Elvis looks like Glenn Campbell. Elvis looks I like. I think Glenn Campbell dresses Elvis so he can walk around do whatever he wants. Go to Tilt Arcade at Arizona Mills on the way home. Fun. I need. To, I do need to stop by there. Okay, we can cross. Oh, there's Urban Outfitters. I wonder whose artwork for t-shirt designs they've stolen today. <laughs> They're like notorious for that. Either stealing people's designs or having designs that are like horribly racist. <laughs> We're selling Queen Band shirts. I wonder if the band sees any money from that. How do you think I'd look in that? <laughs> have we been to the VR place in Tempe? Uh, no, I have not. I'm not a big fan of VR stuff. I don't get motion sick or anything. I just feel like it's very gimmicky, a lot of it. Let 
We are back at the 6th Street Market in the theater. What? Oh, yeah, I wish we could see it lit up. Valley Art Theater. I think the last thing I saw there was the Aristocrats. Yeah, I think that's the last thing I saw there. You, me, and Andy, and I think we all left there, like, side, sides literally split. Oh, look, it's gotten busier, it looks like. Much busier. And the live music is back. Take a listen for a moment. Oops, sorry, excuse us. Should explore the abandoned food city store in Apache Junction. I didn't know there was one. I'll have to look and see what the location is. I like that guy's voice. Someone uh, gave us a dollar on the super chat. I'm going to give it to this guy. Somewhere queen. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. shoot. <laughs> Blew out. Somewhere king has blue. Give the super chat dollar to him. He's doing a good job. PC Extras video. Shout out to my wife, Mary Grace. We love your channel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, why don't we head back to the... Uh, the Tempe throw and then we'll wrap up the stream. It's getting kind of, it's getting kind of long and it's getting kind of hot. It's getting to be coffee time. Yeah, it's going to be coffee, coffee time. Oh, I'll have to show you the water and ice store by my house. It's got a like ice cream parlor inside and uh, pinball, arcade games, Fago. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I'm uh, not a juggalo, but in my opinion, they do make the best pineapple soda, Fago. Closed Food City. Okay, good. We got the address. You ain't nothing but a juggalo. <laughs> Thank you, PC Extra Videos. I'll have to check out your channel, too. That actually sounds like an interesting channel. <laughs> we got more super chat money, so I'm gonna... Dang it. No, not a receipt. It's hard to... Uh-oh, the police are coming to break things up. Good. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, I think we'll we'll wrap things up at the Tempe throne at the front of the market. What? It does kind of look like. Does kind of look like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Alright, so I think we'll wrap the, the stream up here. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. 
shady spot to do it in. Yeah, shade is good. It's starting to get hot out. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. If you if you're just joining the stream, I'm gonna leave it up public so uh, you guys can check it out in your leisure. Thanks for tuning in. Also, make sure to check out the um, newest video on the Retail Archaeology channel that came out Friday. It's pretty interesting. It's on a little, I guess you call it an Asian cultural mall in Mesa. So. Oh, I love Mekong. Yeah, Mekong Plaza. It's definitely good. They smell donuts. Let's put talking about the cops. That's funny. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more uh, live streams like this on location at like interesting little uh, markets and things like this. I, there's probably going to be less of them because it's the summer, but we'll we'll keep an eye out for things. And then let me know in the comments below also if there's anywhere else interesting you would like us to do a live stream at. Anyways, hold on one second. How do I do this? There we go. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Say bye, Mark.